there's a reason you'll never really see a picture of them. And this one blurry for a reason. <laughs> I wish I had a picture. These are the kind of people who not only get away with calling you a Columbine-capable killer, but have the nerve to try to shut you up, take away your right to discuss the trauma they've put you through because they want to pretend it didn't happen, so they even, like, take that away from you. She'll say she didn't herself write it, but she left it up for six years. She says, stay away from me, when she's the one following me around, interfering in my conversations, literally linking her arm with people when I turn my head for a second and pulling them away from me. The parents say not enough is being done to protect children. Kids been getting bullied and they're not doing anything. The same screwed up kids become the same screwed up adults and that's why nothing ever changes. These people are in charge of your kids at school sometime. It's no mystery. How could anyone really They wrote be this barely 10 months after Sandy Hook. The whole thing is deliberately designed to get a rise out of me. And I use one curse word totally understandably and they threaten to call the police. That And that's exactly the whole point of it. Try to slam the door for the He's punched once, staggered, he stumbles back, appears to sucker punch him. Diego falls and would never recover. How could your hair spray up? Tell him I miss him. With everything that's going on in the world, wildlife becoming extinct by the minute, and all the things I thought I was going to contribute my life towards making the world a better place, I really thought that's who I grew up with. That was the school which, which had problems, but there was so much good, and yet I must have imagined it because it's like adults do things to deliberately make each other poor. People will sabotage each other's work. Take your career, your dreams away from you. And when I was younger, I really thought, oh, this is going to make me physically sick. And when they see how, how they've hurt me, they'll feel so bad. <laughs> like I really thought that way. Well into my 40s, I'm afraid to admit. And I didn't get clued in until much later that people enjoy torment and torturing and are entertained by others' suffering. I, I really think particularly those who, you know, they might have looked at in childhood as like, you know, why are they so lucky? And then to see you suffer and lose everything maybe makes them feel better, I don't know. The guy riding in the bulldozer, the front loader, or whatever it's called, is trying to squash that orangutan with the shovel. People are really like this. I first saw that a couple months ago, I couldn't stop crying. It's like they make you helpless to do anything but survive. And the next thing you know, you're almost 60 years old. And you never got to have a family, a career. You could even indirectly blame them for stealing your health. 
life is over in a flash and even in old age people are still being cruel to each other I mean notice how they write what they write on the message board uh, or the uh, guest book you know she's insane she's like what if I was that's how you make somebody feel better it still amazes me the way they took all of my hard work back in 2004 when I built a website for everybody for the 25th reunion I hadn't been to a reunion yet and I was feeling sentimental and I wanted to do something and they took my personal photographs along with like scanned yearbook pictures that took freaking 20 minutes you know for some of the big ones and full you know full page for example and uh and my prize possession photograph I'm most proud of this photograph Chris Webber stabbing Scott at the A2 Brute moment in Julius Caesar I just I remember like yesterday taking that picture I'm like 10 years old and they take it like it's like they have a right and um and next to it, they put, you know, with me and my best friends playing dodgeball, and they they call me a Columbine killer on the same website. I mean, the amount of hatred, you know, calling me insane, and what if I am insane? Like, is, is that what you do? You, like, provoke? You try to hurt someone even, make someone hurt more than they already do? Where is the healing in that? I mean, the irony... And um, I think some people blame me for the mistake I made in trying to use social media years ago, you know, in like the late 90s, talking about, you know, my rough lot in life and the injustice that I'd been dealt and actually naively believed someone might say, oh my God, did that really happen to you? You know, let's figure that out here here's my hand you know here's a leg up you know come on let's go back I mean that I thought that's who I grew up with 